Hello, 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 YouTube, Habs, all of my different people on the various platforms. I haven't been out here in a while and just wanted to come out here, say hello, let you guys know I'm back out here again. <laughs> After having taken a brief hiatus, I've been active on Instagram. So definitely, definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not doing so already. And those of you that will come back and catch the replay, you see that I have an interesting topic that I just was just on my heart to share because I've been reading this book, Telling Yourself the Truth. Telling Yourself the Truth. And one of the sentences that the author says, and I'll break this down a little bit, but I want you to hear this. And those of you that are coming on, those of you who would catch the replay, I want you to really, really listen to this and think about this. But you cannot have peace with yourself. You will never have peace with yourself if you're putting yourself down. It's a thought process. It's a thinking pattern. When you're in that zone and you're not, you gotta be very, very careful of what goes on up here when it comes to yourself. Because you, as long as you're at war with yourself, you won't be at peace with yourself and you'll be at war with everybody else. Let me say that again. This is about telling yourself the truth. If you're at war within yourself, then you can't have a healthy relationship with others. It won't be authentic. You're not able to be even emotionally available and safe for yourself. So how are you going to be safe for somebody else? If I'm at war with myself, what makes me think I can have a safe and healthy relationship with someone else? Right? If I'm not at peace with me, then who can I be at peace with? Come on. My name is Tanika Maria. I've already started and I hadn't even introduced myself. My name is Tanika Maria. I'm all about getting real, being healed, and moving forward in emotional wholeness, peace, and clarity. I help high achieving women of faith get real, be healed, and move on from toxic relationships. But I also help brothers too because what my content and what I talk about applies to us all, right? If you haven't done so, share this out. If this is resonating with you, let me know you're here. Say hello so that I can call you out. But if you're in that place in your life where you're at war within and you're not at peace with yourself, it's going to be very difficult to have healthy relationships and to actually get along with and to actually move forward with other people in a healthy way. We have to get beyond a surface relationship with ourselves and we have to get beyond putting ourselves down. And I, I, I was just thinking about this as I was reading. This is a powerful book. It's Telling Yourself the Truth. Let me show you guys. Telling Yourself the Truth. Let's see who's here. And it's by um, William Backus and Marie Champ Champion. And it's actually an older book, but I found this gem and I thought it was just so powerful. But what it's about is our misbeliefs. It's what we misbelieve about ourselves, what we misbelieve about God. And that's what creates the, the angst. That's what's creating the disconnect. And it's how we're thinking, what is it that I'm really believing in my heart of hearts about myself? That I'm not worthy, that I'm not good enough, that I'm no good, that I've made too many mistakes. It's my regrets. It's all the jacked up stuff that's happened to me. And when I look back over my life mm, and I see what I've come through, and I see the side effects and the consequences of either my own deliberate and intentional choices or choices that I made in ignorance, not knowing the side effects, not knowing the, the, the consequences, the side effects and the lingering after effects and the residue of a decision. You could be right now living in consequences of decisions that you made 10, five years ago when you weren't in your right mind or when you were not mature enough, or when you were not self-aware enough. And now that you come to yourself, now you're seeing it. And you're seeing the the, the side, the, the implications and ramifications of your decisions. And now it's like I have regret. And that regret, that's, that's a hellish place to be. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about, but I'm telling you, we have to divorce ourselves from that spirit of regret. 
And we got to tell ourselves the truth. And we have to come to a place of making peace with ourselves so that we can continue to move forward. And so the, 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 the declaration, what you want to say over yourself is, I'm still worthy. I'm always and forever accepted in the beloved. I am enough. And I am not my past. I am not my mistakes. There's always room for improvement. I'm not going to poo-poo or de diminish the mistakes and the bad moves I've made, but neither am I going to just sit and wallow in it and think that my life is over. Because living in that place of regret will keep you stuck. It will drain you. It will fatigue you. And it will cause you to not have peace within yourself. It will cause you to be at war with yourself. And when you're at war and when you lack peace, you're not able to go anywhere or do anything, right? And so we have to start telling ourselves the truth. The truth is I made a mistake. The truth is that was jacked up. The truth is they did betray me. The truth is they did hurt my feelings. The truth is this mess hurts. Tell yourself the truth, but also balance that truth by not dim diminishing yourself, condemning yourself, beating yourself up. You are a human being having a human experience, doing human things. Come on. I am a human being. I'm still worthy and I'm still lovable. And for those of you that are in that place, for those of you that are in that place where you feel like, you know, my life is over, that's a misbelief. Nobody loves me. Another misbelief. I'll never be anything and do anything and this is as good as it's going to get. Another misbelief, also known as lies. Misbeliefs are lies. They're lies. And some they're, they're lies and sometimes they're so unconscious and deeply embedded subconsciously in us that we don't even know we're misbelieving. We've been believing the same unconscious lie for so long that we've ingrained it and accepted it as truth and it's not. So we have to overcome it. And be aware of our thinking. And I want those of you who will catch this on the replay, those of you who may be listening now, go back. Here's your assignment. And I'll be off of here. I won't be here long. But I want you to go back and pull a picture of yourself when you were a baby. Go look at a picture of yourself when you were an infant, one, two years old. Find that little baby picture of you and look at that baby picture. Does that baby deserve to be beat up? Does that baby deserve to live and be happy? Is that baby worthy? Is that baby beautiful and precious? Hmm? You're that same baby. Come on. You're that same baby. Find your baby picture. And all these negative feelings that you got about yourself, that you're not this and you're not that and your life is over and it's jacked and it's screwed and you'll never, and this and now, you know, all this stuff. You go find that baby picture. And you go say that about that same baby. That baby is you. And that baby is worthy to live and worthy to be free from the chains of the past. You will never have peace with others if you're at war with yourself. The relationship between me, myself, and I has to be right. And it's not going to be right if you're putting yourself down because of what happened. So we got to get this straight. So your homework assignment is to go find a baby picture of yourself. And you look at that baby and you decide, is that baby beautiful, precious, enough, and worthy? And yes, it is. Yes, that baby is you. And yes, she is. Yes, he is. Amen. And you make that choice to be at peace within. And when those negative thoughts come, then you have to supersede that thought. Find you another affirmation. I am worthy. I am lovable. My past does not de define me. What happened in that relationship does not define me. What happened on that job? What happened in that church? What happened in that business? What happened here? and What happened there? It does not define who I am. I'm still worthy. And I choose to be at peace with me. I choose to like me and I choose to love me. And I embrace all of who I am, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So you own it 
but you there you have to find that space of owning who you are, all the totality of it, without condemning yourself and beating yourself, but still being accountable to grow and do better. There's a balance. You're not going to grow and do better beating yourself down. You're not going to grow and do better not having peace with yourself. You're not going to grow and do better beating yourself up. You're going to grow and do better when you begin to accept yourself and come to peace. I am Tanika Maria. I'm all about getting real, being healed, and moving forward in emotional wholeness, peace, and clarity. Definitely encourage you, those of you that are listening, for those of you that have come through different relationship dynamics, especially for my sisters, click the link in my bio. I have uh, my link tree link here on HAPS, and um, I don't know if my YouTube is connecting correctly, but I have a link tree link. Definitely click that to have access to my books and to also download a freebie and get on my mailing list. Five subtle signs that you have not moved on from your ex. That's a um, free audio teaching that you can have once you click the link in my bio. Again, I'm Tanique Maria. I look forward to seeing you and coming back out here again soon. Take care.